Hello everyone, welcome to the class. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening, welcome to the class. How are you doing today? Very fine. I am ready to start. The class. The class, yes. Excellent. And we are back at home. I have internet at home again, so we're back at home. Ah, very good. Yeah. yeah. I'm all ready to go. So that's excellent. And you're feeling better, right, Amiru? Yes. Uh, each day to the past, I feeling better. Um uh, 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 it's it's very hard the flu I have I has. But uh, I feel better. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Perfect. I'm happy that you're feeling better. Excellent. Okay. Thank so, you. Okay. So everyone, welcome to the class. I appreciate your, your punctuality as always. I know sometimes we can be busy and we can be, be doing different things, but I appreciate the time you make to be here in the class. And that's that's very important, okay? So um, today is the class number 17, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see, Monday was 15, 16. So yes, today is the class number 17. Tomorrow we have classes as usual. So tomorrow we need to be here in the class, okay? And that's it. I think those are the things that I needed to tell you, okay? Now, we're going to go here. Oh, remember that we have been practicing a different topic. Now, can you remember what was yesterday's topic? Do you remember what was the topic we saw yesterday? Comparative and superlative. Comparatives and superlatives. Mostly superlatives, right? And superlatives, we use it to talk about the most of something, right? Like the most important part or the most something. So now we're going to continue like getting deep into that topic because it's a very important grammar topic that we are practicing there. But before we go with that, I would like to start as always with the attendance because, you know, that's the first thing we need to do. And it's 8.06 already. So we need to go with the attendance. Let me check. Yeah, today is Wednesday. Let's go. Thank you to the people that have the cameras on, as always. That's very important. So I appreciate that you always keep your cameras on. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Present. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present. Clelia Estela Flores Hernández. Present. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Present, Miss. Eric Giovanni Jiménez Canizales. Present, Miss. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Henry Adonai Torres Gómez. Jacobo de Jesús Gómez Gómez. Present, Miss. Jenis Carolina Vázquez de Medrano. Present, Miss. Johnny Alexander Escobar Calderón. Present, Miss. Jonathan José Oliva Enríquez. Present, Miss. José Alfredo Hueso López. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez de Mel Ramírez Melcar. Oh my goodness, Jocelyn, siempre la casa. Present. Okay. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Yo creo que conozco a alguien que te Melgar y por eso estoy like, oh my God. Mayra Patricia Artiga Vázquez. Not here. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Rafael Antonio Martínez Navarrete. Present, Miss. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. 
Present Miss Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present Miss Silvia Patricia Seituno Méndez. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Amado Javier Urrutia Rivera. Jacqueline Nisset García Miranda. Okay. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for your punctuality. I know sometimes we have different things to do and you make an effort to be here in the class. So I appreciate that because you know, every minute that you're connected to the class, it is very, very important, okay? Now, yes. here, Ramiro? No, yes, Miss. Yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you for your, your like, support right support to my opinion yes because you know every minute that we're connected to the class is very important all the time that we are here counts so to be on time it's pretty much a big deal remember at the end of each class i stay 10 extra minutes so if you ever want to stay for an extra explanation about the topic maybe i'm explaining or any other topic you can tell me and i will be there those 10 minutes for you, okay? Now, as I told you before, we're gonna continue with the um, with the superlatives, right? So just to talk about the superlatives, because we have been talking about the superlatives, I'm gonna make like a little review. Before I, like after I do the review, we're gonna do an activity in groups, okay? Remember, we are talking about superlatives one of the most important things in the superlatives is to use the or you can say the most or add est at the end of the adjective okay so for example you can say here adjective plus est okay for example we can say the most popular place Okay. The biggest restaurant. Okay. The biggest restaurant. So these are examples on how to use superlatives. The most important things, or the most important things you see, I'm using a superlative, are the. Okay. That's one of the most important things. And these ones. Remember, with some adjectives, you can add the most if we have more than two syllables. And then for some of them, you can only add EST. And you have a special rules, as you know. For example, with this one, the adjective is consonant, vowel consonant. So the rule says that I need to double the last consonant and add EST. And then I have the superlative, okay? Now, Based on that that I just explained, we are going to do an activity. We're going to go to the breaker rooms and we're going to decide who is the youngest people in the room. Who is the oldest people in the room? Who lives the farthest? Who lives close? Esto es todo con relación a al centro de San Salvador, digamos. Uh, San Salvador downtown. And who lives the closest to the beach. Okay. And we're gonna make also uh No, just that, just, just four. So we're going to make sentences, okay? So for example, let's think that I am in a breaker room with Oseas, um, Jose Alfredo, and Ana Veronica. So I'm going to ask them, Oseas, how old are you? I to answer now? Yeah, how old are you? 
I'm 33 years old. 33, okay. Thank you. Jose, how old are you? 29. 29? Okay. And I said, what was, who was the other one? Who was the other one? Ah, forgot. My God. Well, Jocelyn, let's go with you. How old are you, Jocelyn? How old are you? 30. 30. Okay. I think that's how you write your name. And that's me. Then we had Luciana, and I'm 28. So in this case, we have all the first information that I'm going to need, okay? You're going to see. Ya van a ver lo que voy a hacer. You're going to see. Then I'm going to ask the same people where they live. So, Oseas, where do you live? I live in Metapan. Metapan. Okay. Jose, where do you live? I live in Rosario de La Paz. Rosario de La Paz. Okay. Jocelyn, where do you live? San Salvador. San Salvador? Yes. Okay. And I live in Usultan. <laughs> Okay, now with this information, I can make these sentences. You're gonna see. For example, who is the youngest person here? <laughs> you, miss. So you will say, Diana is the youngest. Right? youngest. Now, who is the oldest person here? <laughs> is the oldest. The oldest. Okay. Bad. Who lives farther from San Salvador downtown? No, uh, quien vive más lejos, dice ahí. Far. Oh, okay. Okay. Osea. Osea. Where is uh, no, no. No. Diana. 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 How long how long does it take you to get to San Salvador, Jose? ¿Cuánto le toma? Ah, no, estoy cerca. Eh, eh, creo, 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 creo. One hour. One hour? One hour? Okay. One hour. And how long does it take you to get to San Salvador, Jose? Two and a half hours. Two hours and a half? Yeah. Okay, so Oseas, Oseas, because in my case, it takes me like one hour and 45 minutes. That's how, how long it takes me. Oseas lives the artist. This is an irregular. It's an irregular. Aquí es irregular como se escribe. You can say the farthest or you can say the farthest. Yeah, es irregular. Farthest, farthest. Both are like el más lejos, okay? Farthest and farthest. And who lives closer to the beach? How long does it take you to get to the beach, o sea? Uh, you miss. If I want to go to the beach, I have to drive about three hours, maybe. It's 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 far. It's far. Okay. So, and Jose Alfredo, how long does it take you to get to the beach? Um, <laughs> very. How is it It's very close. It's very close. So, in minutes, if you have to drive, um, how long does it take you? Uh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. 30 wow. minutes. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. Ramiro, you have a question? Yes, means uh, when I leave uh, uh, 
to the 30 minutes uh, to the beach, but is um, have a very pro problem for the traffic, or the hard traffic. Ah, uh, yeah, because you have traffic. Uh, yes, traffic, it's, yeah. it's very important to take this as a, uh, it's a problem. So you live close to the beach, but the traffic is a problem. Yes, I live uh, to the 30 minutes uh, to the beach uh, normally. Okay. But is uh, I I have uh, two years uh, to go to the beach uh, no more the one hour and a half yeah. to the beach. Yeah. Because of the traffic, I guess. It's very different, the times. Yeah. It depends. It depends on the traffic, right? Depends on the traffic and the date and the different uh, sources. Okay. Different situations. Situation. Thank okay. you, me. Okay. Thank you, Ramiro, for your participation. Oscar, what do you have to say? It's incredible the kilometers of the difference in your distance in Metapan and Usutan. Really? Is two what? Yes, two, two, two kilometers of the difference. Yes. One hundred. Are you taking? Are you taking an account from Usulutan downtown? Yes, yes. Downtown and Usulutan compare in the Metapan downtown. So maybe he lives in another place in Metapan, or maybe the traffic is worse from Metapan to San Salvador. And it's better from Usulután to San Salvador because here, uh, we from Usulután to San Salvador, mm. we have a street that is a new street for Millennium made it, and we have mm. two uh, yeah like two streets and that's very fast, so yeah. I can do that street like in fifteen minutes, in that street. I I know a different a different places and and do that. Oh no. And Google, and mm -hmm. I uh, 116 and 114 yeah. kilometers. Yeah, 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 I guess. <laughs> two yeah. different, two different. It's two kilometers, yeah, it makes a difference, but it depends. Everything depends on the road, the traffic, the the people who travel there. They A lot of things depend on that, okay? okay. Excellent, but thank you. Thank you for your comment. Okay, so, but I think who lives closest to the beach is Jose, right? Jose, like Jose, he lives, lives in Metapan, but Jose lives closest to the beach because I live 45 minutes from the beach. And what about you, Jocelyn? How how long does it take you to get to the beach? 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Okay, well, still, still Jose lives closest to the beach because he said 30 minutes. Okay. So this is the situation we're going to do. So you're going to identify. So this is an example. You can take a screenshot. Who's the youngest person? Who's the oldest person? Who lives the farthest? And who lives the closest? Okay. To the beach. Farthest from San Salvador downtown. And closest to the beach. Okay. Now, the questions, if you could take a screenshot, that will be perfect. I'm going to uh, write the questions that you need to ask, okay? To get this information. I wanna clear this drawing from the one, to the one, to the two, to the one, two, three, bye. Okay, yeah. so, thank you. Now, here we have it. The first question is going to be, how old are you? And in this question, we're going to identify who's the youngest person and the oldest person. Next question will be, where do you live? How long does it take, take you to get to San Salvador? But so if someone lives in San Salvador, then that person is the correct one, right? And the next question will be, how long does it take you to get to the beach? Okay? 
So these are the questions you're gonna tell me. In this one, you're gonna tell me the age. In this one, a place, where do you live? In this one, time. And in the one down here, time as well, okay? So you're gonna ask the questions first, and then you're gonna make the sentences. Is the activity clear for you? Yes. Yes, very clear. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it. <clears throat> I have a few participants who are listeners today, okay? And you know, you have to make the question for all the participants you have in the breakout room for all the participants, but the ones that are listeners, menos los que son listeners, right? Let me see. Creo que están reportados como listeners. Yeah. Gracias.
Mayra está de oyente, ¿verdad? Usted está manejando. Sí, sí. Ok, ok. Yes, yes. Perfecto. Sus compañeros solo están en unas salas, eh, pero si gusta, la dejo acá para que pues, pueda llegar a su casa. Ok, gracias. Ok, you're welcome. Nine. In a second, a second question. Second question. What do you live? What do you live? Saben que falta yo en la lista. Yeah. Ajá. Brillante, brillante. Sí, sí, sí. Hello, Eric. Welcome to the class. Good Hello. evening, Miss. Good evening. Uh, ya no, ¿Usted ya sabe en otra sala? No, ¿verdad? Yes, Miss. I am at uh, the room two. Okay. There you go. Thank you.
depende si un Salvador. Salvador. Two hour. Two. Okay. It's correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Go to the beach. Beach. Uh, maybe three hour. Three hours. Three hours. Okay. Or not to take to the beach 40, 40 minutes. 40, okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. The youngest, and first the youngest. Okay. Number two, the oldest. We have to do it. Now, yeah, at the end, you have to write the sentences. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to have five minutes or one time. Um, it was like a 30, 30 minutes. Okay. How long does it take you to go to the beach? Um, in my case, maybe um, Hello, Lisette. Lisette, welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. So Lando tarde. Yeah, I can see that. Well, your classmates are doing an activity in this moment. They are writing um sentences and they are making questions uh to you to make sentences or to make sentences uh, using the superlatives, okay? So I'm going to send you to a breakout room. Maybe you can be listening or maybe you can participate, okay? Okay, Miss. Ah, tengo una pregunta. Dígame. Mire, este, eh, vamos a recibir alguna clase en donde vayan a ver cómo este, 
Ay, como, como saludos, así como ahorita. ¿va? ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué? O sea, pronto, ¿qué, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Como, no sé, como, sí, como saludos de introducción. Yo creo que eso fue más en el básico, ¿no estuvo en el básico usted? Ah, sí, sí estuve. <risa> Bueno, pero igual usted tiene derecho a quedarse, eh, si gusta, 10 minutos un día al final de la clase y me dice qué día y yo le puedo enseñar una clase de esas. Ah, ah. O solo me dice dónde lo puedo buscar, ¿va? ¿Cómo lo busco? Para... Sí, también, como greetings in English. Por ejemplo, como ah, WhatsApp, um, good evening, how's ah, everything. Um, how's everything. Yeah, like, how is it going? ¿Cómo te va? How is it going? Ah, sí, sí. Yeah. O para escribir en un correo, digamos. Oh, sí. para escribir en un oh, correo. Bien. Ajá. Oh, like, yeah, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, uh, best regards, eso es como... Eh, best regards. Uh. En saludos cordiales. Ajá, uh -huh. saludos cordiales, best regards, and things like that. Uh -huh. y, y para decir, espero que esté bien, eh, sería, I hope you are well. No sé si I hope por... you're doing well. You're doing well. Ajá. I hope you're doing well. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Bye. Okay. Gracias. You're welcome. Thank you. Playa eh, Beach, eh, Cuco Beach es hotel en Paradise. En es... Cuco Beach, have a, I going, bueno, 10 years ago, uh, the, yes, Paradise uh, and the Tropical. Oh, tropical. I like, I like Paradise. Uh, yeah, Paradise like in the Costa del Sol. But yeah. in Cuco Beach, uh, hello the, uh, everyone. Did you finish? Hello. Yes. 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 Do you have yes. a sentence? 
Yes, yes. Okay, uh, just just be ready because when we go back to the main session, I'm going to ask you the sentences, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Hello everyone. So now we're gonna come back to the main session and be ready to share your answers with us, okay? So two more minutes, one, one or two more minutes, and then we come back. Be ready to share your answers with us and the sentences, okay? The sentences you have.
mí se me sacó de la, del break. Eh, Number yeah, we're coming one, please. back. We're coming back. Ah, ok, ok. Did you finish? Yes. Ok, yeah, we're coming back now. Welcome back. <clears throat> okay, let's go and you're gonna share your answers with me. Let's see, let's start with group number three. Eric, Jenis, Julio, Maria, Julia, Ramiro and Sandra and Clelia. Okay. Yes, miss, we are ready. Share your answers with me, please. Um, I have a 58 years old. I am 58 years old. No, but Ramiro, Ramiro, don't share all the answers, just the sentences. Ah, okay. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Only the sentences, like the youngest. Yes. Okay. How old? How old are you? No, 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 no. The, like the youngest, or for example, I don't know. Like Johnny is the youngest. Oh, yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Is I am. I am the long. Uh, the younger. Uh, uh, the the other. What is the? Did you Did you make the sentences? Hicieron las oraciones? Yes. yes. Eric is the younger. Eric yes, is the youngest? Eric is the younger. Eric is the youngest. 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 Yes. Ramiro is his. Is his older. older. Yes. Is the older. He's the oldest. Oldest. Yes. Oldest. Okay. I, I is um, vivo más lejos. Okay, how do we say that in English? I live in the farm. I am right, please. I live the farthest. Okay, so Sandra farthest. lives the farthest. I live the farthest, yes. From San Salvador. From San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay. Yes. Your next one? Ram Ramiro is... is a, I am lives, Ramiro lives. I am live in. Ramiro lives, no, I live. I live in. Uh, in San the Salvador. closest. I live the closest to the beach. Okay. Right. So Ramiro lives the closest to the beach. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Very, very closest. Much. Okay. <laughs> very close. The very problem close. Is the the problem is the traffic. Okay, okay, perfect. So now, please, uh, let's go. Let's give them an applause. Let's give them an applause for compañeros. Let's give them an applause for their participation. Remember, what I want from you is the sentences, okay? We need the sentences. Let's see. Let's go with group number one. Jacobo, Jose, Jocelyn, Lisette, Oscar, Rafael, and Silvia. Okay, number one, and uh, Jocelyn is the youngest. Okay. And Oscar is the oldest. Okay. And the place Jacobo lives the farthest. From San Salvador. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, for this talk on the Salvador. Okay. So, and sandwich. so tell me the last one, the last sentence. How long does it take you? Or uh, closest to the beach. Okay, so you see, Jocelyn, when she said the sentence, she says, Oscar lives the closest to the beach. Let me just add something here. Because in this one up there, you're saying Oscar lives close to the beach. That is a correct answer. But now we are not talking about that. We're talking about the superlatives, right? And how do we say más cerca? We say close cest to the beach. So to make that statement, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't go. Like that. It has to be like that, okay? okay. Ah, very good. Because we're using superlatives, right? So in that way, we're saying más cerca de. El que vive más cerca. Remember, that's what we're uh, trying to learn, how to use the superlatives in the correct form, right? Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Let's go with group number two. Oseas, Veronica, Johnny, Jonathan, Eric, Blanca, and Ana Veronica. Okay, let's go. No, no, lo, no los han encontrado. Y ahora supuestamente en la tarde. Búsquenlo, búsquenlo. Ok. Yo creo que están hablando lo del Titanic. Perdón, perdón. Jack, Jack todavía sigue perdido. Sí. No. Oscar, no está, no está hablando sobre la noticia de lo del Titanic. Sobre lo del submarino. Yes. ¿Verdad? 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 No, no. No. no, el submarino. No. Ajá, el submarino. El WhatsApp que cayó así, que borraron, por eso era. Que te dieron Ya no teníamos oxígeno. Don't have a, a oxígeno. Oxygen. Oxygen. Okay, let's go with the classmates and let's see their answers, okay? Okay. Ana and Jonathan are the youngest. Veronica uh, is the oldest. Oseas lives the furthest to San Salvador. Veronica and Johnny live the closest to San Salvador. Jonathan and Oseas live the furthest to the beach. Eric lives the closest to the beach. Okay, very good. Good job. Just in that case, we'll change to from. We live the furthest from San Salvador. The closest okay. to San Salvador is correct. The furthest from the beach and the closest to the beach. So in these ones, let me do the to annotate. Let me see. Wait a minute. So this one you're gonna change to and from. Okay. Estamos, from. Cuando estamos hablando de algo lejos, vive más lejos de. Okay. So in this case, we're gonna use from. It's from. The closest. No, we're gonna to. Yeah. The closest you can use to. Okay. But besides that, you did a good job in. Actually, you did more uh, sentences than the ones that I was asking. So excellent, good job. Okay, thank you. <laughs> there were a moment. I'm sorry about that. Ah, oh my God, but allergies are the worst. The worst, you see, lo peor, the worst. I'm using superlatives. You should be using superlatives as well, okay? Now let's go with the next activity. In the next activity here, we have a brief, brief. Do you know what is brief? No? So brief, no sé. for example, what is it, Ramiro? Conocer. Conocer, excuse me. Miss. No, 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 no. Brief, yeah. short time. A brief short is time? Um, short time, yeah, like a brief explanation, like a short explanation. Correct. That's the uh, same. Okay. Brief and short or a small, 
they are synonyms, okay? So this Breve. is a brief, yeah, correct. This is a brief explanation about the superlatives. But yesterday we um, studied like a more completed um, explanation about superlatives. So in this one, we just have like a short brief explanation. It says use the superlative form of adjectives to compare more than two persons or things in a group. Because when we are saying comparatives, we're making a comparison between two people or two objects. But if we have more than two people or more than two objects, so we need to identify the one in the group that is different, okay? And for that, we're gonna use the superlatives. Now, in the examples you have, uh, Jack is the fastest server, uh, saddest moment, whatever, right? The best. Now it says, the superlative form for one syllable adjectives is made of the the, it's very important, this is very important, the adjective and EST, right? That's what we were doing in the regular rooms, doing sentences with the superlatives. Now, adjectives that are two or more syllables long use the, the word most, and the adjective for their superlative form. Then we have the next one that says adjectives like good and bad are called irregular adjectives because their superlative form do not follow the EST rule. For example, what, yesterday I told you, what is the superlative form for good? The best. Exactly. And what is the superlative form of bad? Worst. The worst. Correct. That is correct. Now we have these sentences here. And we need to identify what is the correct form to say it. For example, the most important thing is to find a substitute to, for sick employees. So the more important, it cannot be because more we use it for? Comparative more than. Comparatives with more than. But in this case, we're going to use most, right? most is what we're looking for, is what we're doing. So you need to identify the correct form and underline it, okay? If you can take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group so everyone can have it, please. Okay, now let's go and work on this. Do you understand what you're going to do? Hello. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, thank you. Explain, explain what, uh, one more time, please. You are going to yes, underline, please. you're going to underline, yes. underline, Under. right? Under. You're gonna Under. underline, the correct choice, the correct answer, the correct word or the correct phrase. Like in this case, is the most important because the more important is a comparative and it's not correct, right? Better now? Clearer now? Yes. Okay. Yes, clear.
the best. Okay. Jenny is the fastest. Fastest. Or Jenny fastest? is the fastest. The fastest. Fastest. Is equal. The best. Jenny mm. is the fastest. Fastest waiters. Yeah. The fastest. Is the fastest. The fastest. The is fastest. The fastest. The longest. The featured manager was the longest chief. The, the longest. Longest chief. Longest chief. Very the correct number six. The kitchen manager works the longest. Chief. Chief. Okay. 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 Who's the best? Yes. Okay, Sandra. Continue. Again, again. Again. Hello. Number one. Number one. Sandra. Number one. Okay. Uh, Sandra have a problem. I listen. I listen. I listen. Okay. Okay. The number one, the most import. Uh,
Okay. But let's see the answers, okay? Let's see. Number two. Please read the sentence. When I tell you to read the sentence, you're going to do this. For example, I'm going to read number one. Just quit the correct answer. I'm not going to read the incorrect part. So I'm going to say, the most important thing is to find a substitute for sick employees. Got it? So you're just going to read the sentence correctly. Let's go with number two. Number two, please help me, Veronica Burgos. Okay. Don't use the best sketcher as a reward. 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 Excellent. Thank you very much. Johnny, number three, please. Okay, give me one second. Okay, Jane is the fastest waitress. 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 Okay, I saw, thank you, Johnny. I saw confusion and they say, and they were saying, it's similar, this one, this one, and this one, they are similar. No, they are not similar because you see, this one is the correct answer. This one is incorrect. Why do you think that one is incorrect? Why is this one incorrect from this one? It's incorrect because the, for this we have to say the faster. Okay, because it doesn't have the, the right. The word D factor. Okay, excellent. Lisette, help me with number four, please. Number four, delivery orders are the most popular right now. Excellent, thank you very much. The most popular. Uh, Jacobo, help me with number five. Jacobo, help me with number five, please. Hello, the number five. Yeah. The most pretty decoration. The restaurant has the most pretty decorations. Do you think that's correct? Yes. Okay. The most pretty decorations. Okay. Well, it's, we'll see. It's, it's an exception. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's a restaurant has the prettiest decoration. The prettiest. The prettiest decorations. Excellent. Eric Reyes, can you help me with number six? Okay, okay. The kitchen manager works the longest shifts. The longest shifts. Excellent. Thank you very much. That was good. Excellent. Give an applause to everyone. Mm -hmm. Now, let's continue. <clears throat> We're going to continue with the last part here. In this one, you remember we were trying to answer this question, right? In your opinion, what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Do you remember what is the meaning for overstaffing? Overstaffing is that you have uh, more people than you need. Excellent, Jocelyn, thank you very much. So on the other hand, what's understaffing? When you have a uh, more people than you need, no, or that's less, over stuff. less, less, less people. Less people Sorry. than you need. Okay. Yes. So we were discussing like what it's a good option to avoid those situations. So now you see here we have a list that says 
the most effective ways to avoid overstaffing and understaffing. We have six of these, and we're gonna try to um, discuss in the groups with our partners, what do you think is the most efficient? And we're also gonna discuss what do you think is the less efficient, okay? Let me read them for you. Number one, provide the schedule to your employees weekly. Number two, find a method to communicate weekly with employees. Number three, take working preference preferences into account. Number four, schedule having your employees' strengths in mind. Schedule having, oh yeah, schedule having your employees' strengths in mind. Do you know what is the meaning of strengths? Nope. Strengths means fortalezas. Okay. Strengths. Allow for changes in the schedule. Prevent absenteeism, absenteeism using phone reminders. Okay. So from these ones, we are going to decide what is the most efficient way to avoid overstaffing or understaffing and what is the least the least wait a minute from this one we're going to discuss the most efficient and the least efficient so you're gonna go with your oh yeah well effective it says there well we're gonna say effective affected okay so what are, what are you going to do we're gonna go we're gonna work with the groups and we're gonna discuss these strategies to avoid understaffing or understaffing when you speak with your classmates you're going to identify from these ones what is the most effective way to avoid overstaffing or understaffing and what is the least effective way least la menos the least effective way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing you just have to choose one for these two okay and tell me your answers when you come back here do you understand the activity is that a yes or a no no. No entienden? Ok, it's ok. I'm going to say it again. Vamos a ir a ver estas estrategias que son para evitar eh, tener mucho staff o tener poco staff. Y la van a discutir con sus compañeros y, le, y de estas me van a sacar. ¿Cuál creen ustedes que es la estrategia más efectiva para eh, evitarlo? ¿Y cuál es la estrategia menos efectiva para evitarlo? Ok de acuerdo a sus opiniones, al consenso que lleguen entre todos ustedes. ¿Se comprende ahora? Yes, miss. Ok. ¿Everyone? Uh, yes, miss. Ok, perfecto. Let's go. Están las invitaciones para que puedan unirse. You have the invites. Permítame, es que creo que el mouse no me quiere agarrar. Sí. 
si no, se la envío de nuevo. No, 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 es que ahí la tengo, pero no se me mueve. Ah, ok. Ni, ni, el, ni el touchpad tampoco, pero creo que se ha trabado. Sí, no. Espera, voy a quitar las pilas, a ver si es eso. Ok, ahí sí. Uh -huh. Ahora sí. Excelente.
Hello everyone. So in two minutes we come back and then you're gonna explain to me why do you choose your answers, okay? What is the most efficient and what is the less efficient? The least efficient. Okay, group number one, Carlos, Jonathan, Lisette's group. No voy a decir los nombres de todos, but you know who you were in that group. Uh, please tell me the most effective and the least effective. The most effective is schedule having your employees strength in mind. Okay. <laughs> and the least effective and take working preference into account. <laughs> okay, thank you, Carlos, very much. Let's go with the group number two. Jose Alfredo, Joseph, Eric, Oscar René. So what do you think is the most effective and the least effective? Hello.
Nobody? No. Sorry. Okay. okay. The most effective is uh, especially having your use strength in mind. Mm -hmm. No effective is at least the find a method. Sorry, the most effective is find a method to communicate quickly with employees. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Let's go with number three. Um, Javier, Claria, Eric, um, Jacobo, Jenny, Johnny. Okay, Miss. Uh... I think uh, provide the schedule to your employees quickly is the most effective. And the less effective is, least effective is the prevent of things using phone reminder. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Johnny. Appreciate it. Okay, now we're gonna do another activity. And this is the last activity we're gonna do to practice the comparatives. And this one we're gonna practice comparatives and superlatives, not only superlatives, okay? This one, keep in mind, comparatives and superlatives. You're gonna identify what is the correct form, if it's a superlative or a comparative, okay? Okay, Ramiro, I understand. Okay, let's go. Oh my God, Veronica, you're sleepy. Oh, sorry, Miss. Recuerde que tengo 10 días que me operaron. 10 días. El martes pasado. Oh, sorry. Ando mal todavía de la nariz y los oídos. Oh, because of the anesthesia? Ah. Por la anesthesia. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué en realidad? Uh, porque he estado con pastilla para los dolores para poder sobrevivir. Oh, ok. Got it. Uh -huh. I understand. I understand. ¿Me entienden para que se unen? Please. Okay, I'm going to start in one minute. Who's MJ? MJ. JC. JC is Jenny's Carolina? No. No, this is Jenny's. Who's JC? You. You. Me. Ah. Me. Okay. And MJ? Who's MJ? Maria Julia? I think Sandra Gomez. Oh, I thought it was Maria Julia. Oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna start now, let's go.
It's a comparative, more intelligent. Comparative. My sister, me. You see? Tokyo está más lejos de Madrid que de Roma. Tokyo is further from Madrid than Rome. Okay, excellent. <coughs> What happened? Worst? Remember, superlatives. Worst. <laughs> Worst. This, this is regular. Worstest? That doesn't exist. Mm. Oh my God. Everything changed. Order this sentence. Wow, half and a half. Nobody's better than the others. Nobody's better than the others. Nobody is better than the others. The time you work, the time that it's out. Only one person. The harder you work, the better it goes. Es lo, mientras más trabajas, mejores resultados. Only Jocelyn got it correct. No, no, no. Ramiro got, Ramiro got it correct. I think. The air in the country is... Fresher. The cat, my cat is the pet in the world. Cutest, craziest. <laughs> Cute and pretty. I told you, cutest. The cheetah is the <laughs> the. Fire. 
fastest. It's a comparative. Order. Mm. This sentence is correct. True. This one is better of the two people. Is the better? Is the better? Is the better? Is this correct? Oh, no, no, esta no está correcta. Hmm. It's better. Yes, I think better, Miss. It's the best. Slower, slowest. ¿Dónde está la palabra de? It's the slower. Play, boat of the plane. A boat of plane. Oh, no, it's in first place now. An elephant is in Africa. Elephants are. Los más grandes del mundo. Yes. Let's go. <coughs> no es un superlativo, es un comparativo. Less. Only one person got it correct. What do you say? Least. Best. Best. Hay mejores estudiantes franceses que italianos. Menos. Hmm. Racismo. <laughs> no, no es mejores. Es más y menos. Ustedes se equivocaron en la respuesta. Era hay más estudiantes franceses. Okay, let's see. My cat is as cute as yours. Okay, comparative. Bueno, me voy a omitir todas las otras y voy a saltar a la última. I'm going to go to the last one because we don't have time, okay? So, let's go omitir. Let's go to omitir. <clears throat> Let's 
Solo voy a dejar la última. I'm just going to leave the last one, ¿ok? Getting there, ya estamos llegando. One person answered. Y están intentando contestar. <laughs> Did you like this game? Answer, ok. Answer, 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 answer. Te voy a dar chance que responda aquí. <coughs> Es un survey. Ok, let's see. Per place o seas. Second place, Jocelyn. First place, Ana Verónica. Fourth place, Javier. And fifth place, Johnny Alexander. Ok, maybe for next class we're going to do one that takes a little bit less time. Pero que tengamos el tiempo, maybe. Okay. So maybe we can have the time. Okay. Just, I want, just want to confirm the attendance. Okay. Just the one that connected to the class. Eric Jose Reyes connected to the class. Present me. Henry Adonai. Jose Alfredo. Present me. Mayra Patricia. Present me. Antonio Hernández. Present me. Amado Javier. Present Miss. Jacqueline Lisset. Okay. Thank you. That will be it for today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Mayra Riga is present. Miss. Yes, yes, I heard you, Mayra. Okay. See Bye. you. Bye. Have a good night. Good night. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.